Hey, uh, welcome to The Monitor. I am Senior Editor Peter Rubin. Um, and first up this week, this actually came out last week, but because there was so much other great stuff last week, I didn't get to talk about, but it is on bookshelves now. It is volume one of the graphic canon, uh, compiled and edited by Russ Kick. But what it actually is, is a collection. It's going to be, I believe, a three volume collection, though it might be five. Fact check it later, don't worry about it. Um, all of the world's great literature as imagined, though not reinterpreted, by graphic artists and writers. So in this first volume, Will Eisner contributes something, Robert Crumb contributes something. It's everything from Beowulf to Bosworth, uh, London Journal. It's really ambitious and phenomenal, um, and there's a lot of naughty bits, if that's why you like to read graphic novels. You know, I'm much more high-minded than that. But at any rate, it's out. Comic shops, fine bookstores, by all means pick this up. It's really, really pretty amazing. Um, but to talk about movies, we're going to go to my correspondent in the field because that's what we do. Hmm. 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 Thanks. Okay, this week in movies, Snow White and the Huntsman is out. Looks awesome. The thing about this is there were two Snow White movies that came out this year, and one came out and, and didn't do very well, and then this one came out. This one looks like it's by that guy Tarsum, who did, uh, who did The Cell, and he did The Fall, and he just makes these visually unbelievable movies. It looks like he did this one, but weirdly, he actually did the other one. The guy who did this one is some guy named Rupert Sanders, who's never done a movie before. I don't know why I'm so mad right now. Rupert Sanders, First time director, but he did some really cool Nike commercials. Um, and it's got Charlize Theron and Chris Hemsworth and Kristen Stewart. And why am I even saying these people's names? You know about all this already. So instead, let's just do the haiku review of the week. It's not by Tarsum, but it looks like it's by him. Good enough for me. Back to you. Last up this week is video games, but actually before that, Last night began season three of Workaholics on Comedy Central. No reason to get into it. I love the show because I'm an idiot. You should too. The mail order comedy guys, um, fantastic. Season three, watch. Or at least catch up and then watch or something. But video games. So yesterday came, well, it's not really a new game. Batman Arkham City came out last November, but Arkham City Game of the Year edition came out yesterday. So if you missed the game the first time around, Th there's just no excuse. This is something you have to get. Not only is it the game which Wired had in its top three of the games of 2011, but you get all the DLC that came out after the game's release, Catman, Nightwing, Robin, um, but there's the challenge pack that came out for the game, and then there's also something all new called Harley Quinn's Revenge, which is story-based content that uh, they didn't really give too much away about, but um, by the time you're seeing this, I've already played it. Just haven't played it yet while we're taping. A little bit behind the curtain. That's kind of TV magic for you. Uh, but that's it for The Monitor. We'll be back next week with more fantastic, can't-miss pop culture stuff. Inspirational catchphrase here. <laughs>